Hey everybody, Charles Calhoun, aka the Shade Tree Pro. Um, uh, something I want to, you know, as we dig even deeper into top down and me start letting you get a better understanding of the movements in a sense. You know, when I do my scap up and my scap down, um, one of my friends asked me a question. He said, Charles, what are you swinging? And I said, that's a great question. And, and I gave him an example when I was studying, you know, people with one arm or some of the military guys who's, you know, who's lost uh, maybe an arm and they, you know, have the artificial arm and they play golf. How would I teach them top down? And I said, one of the things that I do is what I'm trying to accomplish is that here's your upper arm of the humerus. You know, we've got the forearms and everybody always talking about the forearms and the hands and all of that. And you know, but the real connection is the upper arm uh, um, to the shoulder joint. You know, that's where the real connection is. So what I'm really trying to do, and I like practicing this one with my driver, is that I'm actually, when I get the scap drop, I'm actually trying to make the upper arm move faster than the forearms and move faster than the hands. Now, in reality, I don't know for sure if it's happening. You know, you got all the eggheads and data guys that can figure that out. But the thing is, is that that is what I'm trying to do because what happens sometimes is that when my hands and arm and forearm, which they're smaller and they'll, they'll get faster uh, and, and they should go faster, they'll get ahead of it sometime and lead to bad shots. So why I work on my rhythm in a sense, I always say it like this, is I can only get this to go so fast and when I get this part of my, my upper arm to go f as fast as I can get it to go, then I'm trying to get the other parts to, se to sequence up to it. And the more that I can get it going faster and faster and feeling that faster, that and feeling it going faster, then I can sequence the arms up. So you, nobody really talks about sequencing, you know, the, the forearm and the upper arm up too much. I don't hear too much conversation about that. So, but because when you scat drops, the first thing it's doing is swinging the upper arm. I'm trying to make the upper arm go faster. And I think the more that I get the upper arm to continuously go faster, or as it gets faster, it'll start getting into, getting into that sequence. And see, a lot of people, you know, that's why you see a lot of people out there on the golf course, they're so handsy, or on the practice range, they're so handsy, because they really don't know what to work on. You know, if there's one thing, is that, is that when you get a sequence, and that's, that's the thing, that's why I said the brain only, as it said, you know, theoretically, the brain only, when it's dealing with sequences, is only one thing at a, excuse me, at a time. So when scap up, scap down, as it coming down, what we're doing, excuse me, what it's doing, we're trying to learn how to swing or sling or whatever the upper arms. And you don't have to care so much, although I hit that pretty good. It's not about how great you hit it. What it is, is trying to get that sequence of learning how to swing that upper arm. It's almost like if you just took this uh, forearm off and laid it down, if you could do that, and just feel the scat drop of swinging that upper arm. So work on that. Give that a try. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, but work on getting that rhythm. And, and like I say, you know, if you're learning a good play, you always learn how to do it in slow motion first. Get the feel for it, allow yourself to get that rhythm, and then go out and give it your best try. Charles Calhoun, AKA The Shade Tree Pro. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And as they say, always good golfing.